Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and this is big ball chain. And that's a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And I have been trying my darndest to free myself up to do whatever seems to come naturally at the time. And so a pair of glasses may or may not facilitate that. And I am thinking that I will start by giving myself plenty of white negative space. And I will use my OXO omelette turning spatula to spread that paint and remove any lumps that I happen to see. And whatever else comes to mind is what's going on next. That's not good. I don't want lumps. Go away lumps. And that could include anything. Anything I've never tried before. And everything. Where's my dark purple? Right there in front of me. And there's a good chance I may stick an acetate card in. I'm not sure. I'm just going to use colors I like. And if I get something I really love, then I will decide at that point in time if I'm going to stick some... Uh, what I'm going to do. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to decide right then, right after I get that open, right in, what I'm going to do. This is a technique I really, really like, which is no rules, no preconceived notion, just have at it. And uh, in this case, try and keep some negative space, which I think is going to be a tall order, but we can always add it back in. I've blown up a couple balloons, so if I want to add those, I will. I want to get all of my paint out of the way and study this. I've left a big swath down the center, and I think I'm just going to give myself permission. Go nuts as long as things come out. All right, so do I want blue? I might. I love the turquoise, I love the color shift. I didn't use any minty green today, and I want some of that Art Minds Mystique if it'll come out, which it won't. Clean off my skewer. All right, for a start, come on, really? Okay, fine. For a start, for a start, we got a really large amount of Art Mines green mystique up there. So what I'm gonna do is pull it toward the place where I have the paint. Now I did warn you that I might want to do balloon rolls and I didn't have enough paint in the center there. And that thing is probably what was plugging that bottle. But one of the things I really like about the chain is that I can use black or white. Speaking of black, where is my black? I haven't used any black today yet which is really weird. Oh, it's because the, because the opening on that is so large. I'm just going to keep adding colors where I see gaps. And noticing if <laughs> something's turning gray to, to stop doing that. And realize if I want to put white in there, That'll be of great assistance, but I might want to clean my chain off. Now, I think I'm going to start this way, and then I'm going to play with balloon rolls and or a basting brush. I want to make sure I have some more gold, because I liked how it looked here.
unless things turn into something that I can't bring myself to toss or to get rid of, which does happen. Like that. I wish I could pick up some of this paint. bring it somewhere else. I also might try tilting. I see this down here. And I need some white with that. Need to put this is a really long chain. I don't recommend this size chain, really. The shorter piece will work very well. I like that. You gotta be careful because I'm treading on dangerous ground as far as how much paint I have, but I kind of want to do this. Put some blue down here, and some real turquoise, and maybe some right there. And maybe even there first. Boy, I'm getting past the point of wanting to do any balloon rolls or anything else to this. Maybe a little Prussian blue. Maybe right now, in fact. Right here. Also, sprinkle some white in there. back and forth. I don't want to lose all that purple. I don't know why any paint wouldn't be sticking right now, but that looked like a little piece of canvas. So that's all pretty cool, but that's the Prussian blue. And I could definitely stick a skewer in there. The only way I get the little tiny circles is by using a loop of small ball chain. So if I want circles, that's what I have to do to get them. And since it looked like there was a little bit of canvas up there, it seems like a good place to put them. Especially since I can pull some purple in to that composition up there. Without hurting my feelings any. And cover some canvas. It might need it. No, I'm not convinced I should do any balloon rolls. I'm not really convinced of anything right now because I kind of like what I've got and I need to look at it for a second to see if there's something else I might want. Bamboo skewer is always tempting. Now what I did recently was lay colors down and put my chain in. And I think if I throw the big one in the bucket so I don't get tempted to use it, I can grab the smaller one. And then I can 
try. Where do I want it? That's the question. I just destroyed some beautiful cells in there. So let's try not to do that. Let's do this. And right up there. Right off. I like that mark, but I think it could be better. Yeah, I'm going to do that again right there. Hopefully it'll come out as well. Cross your fingers. There's two. I really hate the idea of destroying something awesome. I'm trying to think if I drag it across. I kind of need one up here, even if I don't want to destroy anything, I'm going to do it anyway. continuation of what I had started recently. And I am so not done. Ooh. <laughs> Oopsie. I'm actually getting somewhere, but I want some blue, and I've got three minutes left, and I think it's going to be okay. I'm not sure if it should be blue or purple under here, but I'm going to try to... So let's go ahead and give ourselves permission to keep going. Even though I've got a very schmutzy chain. Got some really neat patterns. That does not belong in there. And I would like it out. But I don't see my tweezers anywhere, so I'm just going to have to grab it. Pretend it didn't happen by pouncing my fingernail in there and sticking my finger in there. And what else? Don't put it back in. Stealing some paint. Still a little paint. Nobody's going to notice unless you tell them. So that's coming along to be something I like a lot. The only thing I'm missing at this point is my is maybe the greenery. I haven't decided what to do about that. Anything. I certainly could, but I think it might be best to leave it. <laughs> I'm going to try it, the gold, before I make any more decisions. And I'm going to try and do it backwards. Am I? No, I'm not. I thought I was. Oh, I like the gold.
The gold with the purple is neat. Do I want something up there? Oh, yeah, I guess I do. It's hard to decide. Let's let's go for the drama. Are you Gotta try it backwards. I succeeded. Let's give them a few pieces of foliage and call it good. I just did this in black and gold and silver, so I'm happy to see that it looks pretty, pretty nice in these colors, too. Um, if you'd like to give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. I'm going to let you see what I can see. And I'm very pleased. I'm going to torch this. I'm going to have to cover my edges after you're gone, because otherwise we're going to be out of time, I think. But right at the moment, because there's so much turquoise color shift, the folk art up there, I'm going to add that right now so I don't have to worry about it when I go to photograph it in a moment. I love you guys. There's over 80,000 of you. I asked for a thumbs up. If you want to help me out, because revenues are down at YouTube, um, watching more videos that you can find on my channel playlist by following one of the end screens to that playlist on my channel header. I'm just confused right now. I'm just so enamored of this that I'm not capable of focusing. I hope I didn't ruin it by doing that, but I had to stick a finger in there. And here, I saw a little canvas there. Everything else is pretty good. I'm going to bring that over to the edge. So what should I tell you? My paint pouring recipe is underneath the video. And you can help me out by shopping my Amazon link, which is also under the video. It's a blue link. You can find the OXO omelet turning spatulas there, and mica powders, and all kinds of canvases, even tents. Not that it's a good time of year for tent for most of the country, but I'm in Florida. So, I love you guys. There's over 81,000 of you. I just had to. <laughs> there's two. Now there's three. That was already fine. Now there's four. Just a little twist, make them all look like they're flowers. I'm happy about that. Alrighty, I love you guys. I will see you in on. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Saying if you want to um, find leggings or all over print tops, check the links on the check. Click one of the links on the fashions below the video. You'll find my Teespring stuff. Yes, I'm very, very distracted. I'm also looking for that color right there so I can use it. Please come out. So this will be pretty much the same the next time you see it, except for my edges will be done. This is my last painting of the day. I painted myself out of room in my little storage unit. And uh, I will see you guys anon. Check the community board on my channel header on my channel page for uh, tomorrow's videos. I often post them there. And uh, check the end screens in the last 20 seconds for this month's drawing if you want to be a contributor. It's a $10 minimum and uh, you could win some paintings or assign